What's up y'all, Rave with Shay here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am so pumped about today's episode. I want to celebrate all of the content creators. Content? <laughs> How fun is this? And these. <laughs> Today we're going to be celebrating all of the amazing creative content creators in the EDM space, anywhere from YouTube to Twitch, you name it, we're celebrating them. I'm going to give you those who give me a lot of inspiration. And then I'm actually, I did an Instagram poll and asked people their favorite podcast and their favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much for those of you that said me, that's very sweet. But today we're talking about all of our favorite content creators, uh, podcast hosts, bloggers, YouTubers, Instagram models, maybe even a little bit of DJs, live streamers from Twitch and Bego, all of the things right here so let's go ahead and dig right in person that I want to talk about first my favorite content creator is I think a lot of our favorite content creators Emma Capotis she does everything from awesome YouTube videos and rave vlogs to the infamous rave culture cast podcast and amazing content on TikTok, Instagram, you name it. She does it with her podcasts every Wednesday and new music Fridays or Fridays. We all love Emma Capotis. She is just a ball of positive energy. She's very informed and knowledgeable in the EDM space. She has a good ear for music and gives us awesome new music to listen to and her YouTube videos help prepare you for any music festival what to wear who to see what to do and not to do the different types of ravers you'll meet genres and subgenres explained she is adorable she's beautiful she even does makeup tutorials hair tutorials and gives us a lot of recommendations and reviews on music festivals, brands, businesses, all of that. She interviews a lot of really great people in the EDM space as well on Rave Culture Cast. So I'm gonna stop girling out on Emma Capotas, but she is what really got me interested in not only YouTube and podcasts, but also just to be really excited to be a part of this EDM community. So huge shout out Emma Capotas. I will link all of her social media with a link to her YouTube and Instagram and all of the things. Thank you so much Emma Capotas for being our number one rave mom. The second person that I would like to talk about is Vibe With Aid. Vibe With Aid just started a podcast, a Vibe With Me or Let's Vibe podcast. <laughs> She is also a YouTuber and she has a blog. If you go to vibewithaid.com, you can check out all of her awesome blogs. I love reading, well, not only reading, but also listening to her podcast. She talks a lot about mental health, music festivals, life in general, you name it. This girl has blogged about it. Now she's doing her podcast and just love her. She's always got a smile on her face. She's so cute. She does a lot of workout videos and how to eat vegan. And you can look like she's killing it. She's learned how to shuffle. <laughs> learned how to DJ and you can follow along with all of that on the Let's Vibe podcast and Vibe With Aid YouTube as well as her blog at vibewithaid.com. She's adorable so if you don't already make sure you join her Vibe Tribe and I will also link everything of hers down below. 
So both Vibe With Aid and Emma Capotis, they have YouTube channels and podcasts. And then Vibe With Aid also has a blog. Moving right along on live streaming platforms. So as you guys know, I'm on the Bego Live app and I live stream every month. I've recently brought my friend Emily. You'll know her better as the Peach Raves. She's amazing. She does all sorts of makeup tutorials. In fact, I just did this cut crease. She taught me that. So make sure you get on to Bego, check out the Peach Raves. You can also find me, I am Rave with Shay. And you can see some really cool makeup looks. She also plays really awesome music. Her and her boyfriend Zeke play lots of awesome music. She holds headbanger panels and we do glow raves and all sorts of fun stuff. So make sure you check out the Peach Rave. She's also on Instagram. She's so much fun. She makes her own masks. You might remember from my mask, one of my earlier mask videos. She makes her own mask. She kills it as far as like styling. She's a brand ambassador. She's just a whole lot of fun, really beautiful, fun, awesome girl, and I really enjoy her content, and I think that you will too. Moving right along, this goes without saying, the Sunflower Raver is amazing at all of her content. Her TikTok videos are just incredible. And slithering. Emma Capotas, who we talked about earlier, did a Rave Culture cast episode with Hera, the Sunflower Raver, and talked about TikTok and how to be successful on TikTok. So make sure you check out that episode. I hate to only talk about TikTok with Sunflower Raver because she's also all over Instagram. She models a lot of clothing. <laughs> want to remind you that I do have a highlight up about the Black Lives Matter movement. If you still need to sign petitions or donate or you want to do it again, it's up there for you. And I also have another highlight of 35 small black owned raveware businesses if you want to go and support them as well. Most recently, she just had a collab with Freedom Raveware, the Sunflower Raver Collection. So cute. Love all of these items. She is gorgeous, she is so sweet, she's always spreading positivity, and I just love all of her content across TikTok, Instagram. She even, I believe, has a YouTube channel, so make sure you check out the Sunflower Raver. And can we talk about how freaking gorgeous her hair is? <sighs> She makes everything look so easy. It looks like she just, you know, turns on the camera and whoop, all this content, but it's a lot of work. I'm sure it's a lot of work and she is killing it, pumping out new content pretty much every single day. So make sure you check out Sunflower Raver. Then last but not least, on another streaming app, Twitch, I'm sure you're all familiar with a lot of the live streams that we've been doing, the live sets from Insomniac events and Disco Donnie Presents and all of the different, you know, I think, Lost Lands was on there and all sorts of, I feel like Morgan Page is always streaming on Twitch. I actually, when I did my Instagram poll, I heard back from Joy McMezzo. So Joy McMezzo, thank you for your submissions. She says that she streams on Twitch and her name is Angry Tuttle. So I'll link that right here. The people that she recommends on Twitch are Purge Queen, who I'll also pop up a picture and a little bit of her live stream as well as where you can find her on Twitch and Instagram.
So Joy McMezzo is Angry Tuttle. She recommends Purge Queen, Sir Lar, and Bruce Green. So I'm gonna pop up a couple pictures. I'm not as familiar with Twitch, but I did ask if there were any other types of content and Twitch was one that was recommended by, again, Joy McMezzo, the Angry Tuttle. So just a quick recap, today we're celebrating the different types of content creators and all of the creative, awesome, beautiful content that they're pushing out on the daily. For YouTube, we have Vibe with Aid and Emma Capotis. For Instagram, we have Glitter Goddess, Paige Cox, who is just incredible, Adriel, Lauren Hutzel, My Bay, and Chubby Wubby. They have the most incredible content on Instagram. I'm gonna show you a couple pics and vids and make sure you follow all of them. So amazing. For podcasts, we have Emma Capotis, Vibe with Aid, and Face Drop Princess. She just launched the Best Candy Ever podcast, so make sure you check that out. For blogs, we have Vibe with Aid, as well as myself, Rave with Shay. For Twitch, we have Angry Tuttle, Purge Queen, and Bruce Green. For Bego, we have The Peach Raves, and again, myself, Rave with Shay. And on TikTok, we have Sunflower Raver. I think that's it. Thank you so much to Diane Hun and Nicole Tay and ASCJ Ken for your submissions. ASCJ Ken said Sunflower Raver and Gwen Pisos are his favorite content creators. The Nicole Tay says Glitter Goddess, Paige V Cox. Thank you so much, the Nicole Tay. You're adorable. Gotta pop her up here as well. And then Diane Hun actually gave me a couple different ones in different genres. She said Glam and Gore, Julianne Solomita, Bailey Sarian, Brittany Browski, and my favorite murder is her favorite podcast. So thank you again, Ken, Nicole Tay, and Diane. I appreciate you guys and your submissions. So I guess that wraps it up. Make sure you check out all these awesome content creators. Leave me a link, leave me a link, leave me a comment down below and let me know who your favorite content creators are. Who did I miss? There are so many. So these are just a handful of people that give me inspiration. I also wanna give you the ones, my inspiration is Emma Capotis. I spoke with her and these are some of the people, these are the podcasts and content creators that inspire her. So I thought that was really cool. But thank you again so much for watching, you guys. I'm Rave with Shay, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.